Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to start the MySQL not starting on ZAM software. Uh, like this error I'm having here as MySQL shut down unexpectedly. Whenever you click on the start like this, it will just attempt to start and then it brings out an error like MySQL unexpectedly shut down. And then to solve this issue, first of all, start uh, you shut down the Apache from here and then you go to your directory follow the directory where you install the mysql for me uh is on my c drive and then does it as a zam folder from there then i have to find the mysql folder that's the uh, part where you have the mysql files and in here the data directory should be renamed to uh, uh to any other name let me rename it as old and save that and i have to create a new folder and name that as uh, Hmm. new folder sorry uh, and rename that as uh, data now okay that'll be data okay and then in here uh, we will take the backups these are the backups of the the the, the, the mysql uh, on the z and then we'll take the files from there the entire folder we copy everything control c and then and paste it here in data and then we can come back to the old data and then go pick all the databases that we install on our mysql like the not the system databases but the user databases that we created so this is one of them and this this and this and this i can copy them as well and take them to the new data folder i'm gonna paste them mm, okay one of my folders already existed and then just gonna replace that one and okay go back to the old data folder again and then pick this one i i be data one it must be part of the uh, copy it has to be taken to the other one i have to copy that one as well uh go to the new data and then paste it here so there is a copy of it already here in the backups but we have to replace it with the one from our previous folder and then i will replace it we have it here so now what we're gonna do is we have to test uh whether our solution has worked and it should work solely and let's start the apache and see The Apache have successfully started. We started the MySQL now. And the MySQL also started successfully. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to this video. Thank you.